In this video, I'll show you how you can sell your photos online by making a website as a total beginner. And don't worry, you won't have to know anything about coding or web design. The platform I'll show you today is super simple and easy to use as a beginner. So if you wanna start making money selling your photography online, then keep watching this video. The method that I'm gonna be showing you today is selling your photos as digital downloadable files. The reason why we're doing this is so you don't have to worry about paying for shipping as well as professional printing. If you're trying to get your art sold on a canvas or a mug or a tote bag or something like like that. There are many print on demand platforms out there like Printify. So we'll leave a link down below to that as well as a video tutorial. However, for this tutorial, we're showing you how to create digital downloadable files. And so with this, you can basically upload one photo and then sell it multiple times in order to make extra income every month with little to no effort. But before we get into that, we have to first set up our website. And the platform that I recommend for this is Hostinger. So if you guys click on the link down below, you guys are going to get taken to Hostinger's landing page. And right now they're having the biggest ever cyber week sale. So you can get started for less Less than two dollars per month by the time you're watching this video it could be more or it could be less usually it's just under three dollars per month so yeah it's still a really good deal it also comes with two months free as well as a 30-day money-back guarantee so if you guys are interested again we'll leave a link down below and we also have a special discount code for you guys to use so in order to get started go ahead and click on claim deal right here from there it's going to allow you to choose your web hosting plan so they have three different plans they have the premium the business and the cloud startup for most of you guys just getting started the premium plan is perfect this is going to allow you to create up to 100 different websites, as well as give you a free email and a free domain name. If you guys do want increased performance or more storage, then you guys can upgrade to the business or the cloud startup plans. But for now, I'll go ahead and add this one to my cart. From there, it's gonna ask me to choose a time period. So you have the one month plan, 12 months, 24 months, and the 48 months plan. I don't recommend going with the one month plan because this one is a lot more expensive. So for now, I'll choose the 12 month plan. And down here, I can go ahead and create my account, entering my email address and password. And then down here where it asks Asks you for a coupon code go ahead and type in the code my first website and then once you guys apply it's going to give you an even greater discount so as you guys can see right here i'm getting one year's worth of web hosting for just 26 dollars. and guys that is an insane deal right now i don't know how long they're going to be holding this cyber week sale for so yeah be sure to click on the link down below try it out for yourself add our coupon code and see how much it's going to cost you chances are it's not going to cost you more than 40 dollars to get started for your first year so yeah super affordable and again we'll leave a link down below for you guys to check them out but yeah from there all you have to do is just enter in the rest of your information and then click on submit secure payment. Once you're done getting set up and you've logged into your hosting account, it's gonna take you to a dashboard that looks like this. And as you guys can see, we have three different plans. You guys are probably just gonna see one, either the premium business or the cloud startup. And then on the right-hand side, you guys are gonna see the setup button. So just go ahead and click setup. Go ahead and click on start now and then go ahead and create a new website. From here, it's gonna give you two different options. You can either choose to build your website with WordPress with AI or you could use Hostinger's website builder with AI. For this video, I'll be teaching you guys how to use WordPress because this is a very popular website builder. They're one of the most popular website builder platforms out there right now. And it also works great if you're selling photos online because there's a specific plugin that you have to install. So I'll go ahead and click select right here. And then now I have to enter in login details for my WordPress account. Then it's gonna ask you if you wanna add any plugins to your website, totally optional. For now, I'll just go ahead and skip. And then they're gonna ask you what theme you wanna install. You could just click on skip as well, or you can actually download Astra. This one's a really beginner friendly theme and it also works really well with the plugin that I'm gonna show you. If not, I'll show you guys how to download it later on. So we'll go ahead and click on skip for now. Then it's gonna ask you if you wanna automate some of the text creation on your website with AI. So for this, you could just enter in the brand name and description. And honestly, you could just go on ChatGPT and then come up with a brand name and description with that. For now, I'll just go ahead and click on skip. And then it's gonna ask me if I wanna choose a domain name that I already have or use an existing domain or if I wanna claim the free domain name. It comes with every single plan. So I'll just go ahead and choose this one to show you guys what it's like. And down here, you guys just have to enter in your desired domain name as well as the ending. So I'll go ahead and change this one to .com. So for this example, I went ahead and I typed in my first photo selling website.com. So I'll go ahead and click on continue. Then it's gonna ask you for some contact details. Just go ahead and type that in and then click on finish registration. Okay, and once that's done, it's gonna allow you to either access your WordPress admin panel or go to your control panel. For now, let's go to the WordPress admin panel. And now that's gonna take me to the WordPress dashboard where I can start editing the website. So the very first thing that you should do is go to appearance right here and go to themes. And if you guys wanna add a new theme, you just click up right here. And then now you guys can search for any of the themes. They have over 5,000. And again, the one that I recommend is Astra. This one is very, very customizable, super beginner friendly, and it works really well with the plugin that I'm gonna show you. So if you wanna install it, go ahead and click on install. And then once it's done, you're gonna to have to also click on activate. Then it's gonna bring me back to my themes. and now. You 
you guys can see that the Astra theme is active. And the next thing to do is download our plugin. So I'm gonna go over to plugins right here. As you guys can see, we already have a couple that they pre-installed, but to get started with a new one, I'll just go ahead and click add new plugin right here. You can see that there's a bunch of different plugins that you guys can search for, but the plugin that we're gonna install today is called Easy Digital Downloads. So I'm gonna go ahead and type it into the search bar right there. And then now, as you guys can see, it's right here. So I'll go ahead and install this one. And then afterwards, I'll activate it as well. And now, as you guys can see, once it has been activated, you're gonna see a download section right here on your left-hand side. What you could do is just click on Get Started right here to set up everything. So I'll go ahead and click that. It's gonna ask me for my business name, my business type, as well as all the business information. From there, I can start adding payment methods. So they accept Stripe. And then you can also configure your receipts. So you can add in your custom logo, as well as the from name and the from email, and then the purchase receipt email itself. From there, they have a bunch of conversion and optimization tools that you guys can activate. I don't recommend messing around with any of these, just keep them all selected. And then last, what are you gonna sell? So this is where you can start entering your product details. And don't worry, you can do all this stuff again. They're just helping you through the setup process. So let's say we're selling an image, right? So I'll go ahead and just name this one image one. And if I want, I can go ahead and upload the image right here. I don't recommend uploading the original files because people can just steal your work without paying. I recommend actually using a lower quality version for the product image. And I would also consider adding a watermark to it. But yeah, once you've uploaded your product image, you can then choose your pricing options. So you could just have a single price or you can have a variable price. This is for if you wanna sell your image at different dimensions. So if you're selling it at a bigger dimension, maybe it might be more expensive. Totally up to you, but go ahead and just choose whatever option you want. And then down here is where you can add your first file. So this is where you can name the file and then also upload it from your media library. You can also add new files. So if you did the variable pricing, you can go ahead and make packages. So let's say I wanna set a variable price on one of them for a version that is 1920 by 1080. And I'll go ahead and price this at 999. I can also add a new price. So this one is gonna be in 1280 by 720. And then this one is gonna be 599. You can also choose a default price. So if I want it to be default as this, I just have to select that box and I can also add a new price. So this will be the bundle. And then this right here is gonna be $13.99. From here, I can go ahead and add a new file if I want it to be added to the bundle. And I can choose to only assign it for the bundle if I want. And now if I go to the downloads on the left-hand side, you guys can see that the image one product is right there. To go ahead and edit this, I could just go ahead and click onto it. And then now it's gonna bring me to the WordPress block editor where I could start to edit some of the text as well as add other things up here. So if I go ahead and click on this, I can add a bunch of different things like a paragraph heading. I can also add a gallery or a video. And yeah, I can customize this website page to however I want it to look like. Over here on the right-hand side, I can also add different categories as well as tags. Or if I want, I could just go ahead and click into here and just start typing. And yeah, down here, they have the download details. So you can choose the product type options, whether you wanna sell this item as a single product or as a custom product type. Right here, I have different pricing options. So just choose that based off of whatever you guys want. And here I have the different price IDs. I can go ahead and add a new price and add new download files. And I can also add download instructions, which will be added to the purchase receipt. If I wanna go ahead and see how this looks, I can go ahead and click this button right here and then click on preview and a new tab. And so now, as you guys can see, this is what the website looks like. They could choose between all these different options and then click on purchase. Obviously, I'd need a product image right here so that they could see what they're purchasing. But yeah, once you've finished designing your website page, I'll go ahead and click on publish right here and then click on publish again. And now if I go back to my WordPress dashboard, I can also mess around with some of the settings if I just hover over it. So I can click on quick edit right here and I can give it some download tags. If I wanna access any of those, I just have to go to categories right here or tags. This is a great way for being able to separate your photos on your websites and you can create a menu bar on your website that can go to each different category. I won't get too much into how to actually design your website because we have other videos on this channel that will teach you that. But yeah, once you are done building out the products, what you're gonna to wanna to do is then set the website to a test mode. This is gonna allow you to test whether or not the purchase actually works. So in order to do that, go ahead and click on settings right here in the downloads and then go over to payments right here. And now under the active gateway section, go ahead and check the store gateway option. From here, go ahead and scroll down and click on save changes. And so now if we go back to our downloads right here and then we click on view for our product, we can go ahead and choose an option and click on purchase. So now it's added to our basket. We can go to checkout right here. And then now from here, all we have to do is just enter in some personal information. Because we're on test mode, we won't have to enter in any payment details. All we have to do is just 
just click on purchase. And once you've made sure that everything is good with your emails as well as your product images, you wanna make sure that you take your website out of test mode in order to start accepting payments. So in order to do that, just go ahead and go back to your settings, go back to payments, and then just uncheck that store gateway and then click on save. You guys can access any of the settings here as well. So if I go back to general, you guys have access to changing all the different things that were in the setup. So you can change the payment methods, the checkout page, how you handle refunds, the accounting on your orders. You can integrate it with PayPal. You can upgrade to one of their premium plans to create invoices. You can even create subscriptions. And then obviously you can also connect it with Stripe, which is another payment processor. But yeah, they also have settings for email, for marketing, for taxes, for policies and miscellaneous stuff. So I highly recommend that you guys just mess around with all these different settings and also watch our other videos linked down below in order to fully set up your website. But anyways, that's how to make a website to sell your online photos. I hope this video was helpful for you guys. And if it was, please make sure to like and subscribe for more videos just like this. This channel is gonna be making a lot more content on WordPress websites, web design, and yeah, anything website related. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.